Happy Friday, Ranger Nation! You waited another week. Welcome to the Ranger Week in Review. It's the show that goes over everything that happened in the world of Power Rangers and Tokusatsu. I'm back. I'm feeling so much better. Oh my gosh, no time to deal your dally. You better grab your drink because this week we have Dino Fury, we have Rangers, we have news, we have shoes, we have lightning collection, we've got revise, trigger, uh, the superhero Senki stuff with the giant team up that's going to be happening. Uh, Go Kaiser has its own segment. Oh my god, that's not even considering Ultraman and Godzilla. It's a busy show. I hope you're ready. The Ranger Week in Review starts right. Oh wait, kick back and relax because it starts right now. Thanks again for joining me. I am Ranger Liz. Welcome to this fun show. If you are new here, I'm going to have uh, headers up at the top. You can follow down below. Hit the subscribe button. If you want to find out more about Ranger News, and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. But we start with Power Rangers, then we move on to uh, Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, Ultraman, etc. We've got a bunch of fun stuff to talk about this week. It's a loaded, loaded week, and we're going to start with Rangers. We had a preview, thanks to Power Morphicon Online, that happened last weekend. I'll talk about more about that when it comes to the convention section. But we did get a preview clip for episode 12. Uh, it's going to be called Super Hotshot. Izzy is convinced a new coach is going to take her athletics to a new level. Her training aspirations are put to the test when she discovers the coach's true motives. Uh, fun. Fun. Because we don't know. Uh, all we got in this little clip was like, hey, you know, our dad said this. And so I was like, oh, maybe we got slide through again, being someone else. Maybe he's trying to be Izzy and Javi's dad. I don't know. But we'll find out more whenever this episode airs. Whenever it airs, we actually have no idea, but of course, don't forget episodes 9, 10, and 11 are up on Netflix right now if you want to get watching them. No idea yet of when they're going to be on Nickelodeon. I did record uh, my reviews for episodes 9 and 10. Finally, now that I'm feeling a little bit better, thanks everyone for the well wishes. Uh, I'm trying to get caught up on the backlog of stuff from whenever I was sick, so look for those potentially uh, coming up in the next few days. I'd like to get caught up again uh, before episode 12 comes out. In comic news, this week, issue 8 of Power Rangers did come out. Remember, it was uh, postponed a week. Says, this is it. Nowhere left to run. No more time to prepare as the Omega Rangers must stand off against one of the Imperial. That is going to look bonkers. Pick it up. It's uh, available at your comic book store right now, as well as Radiant Black number 5, if I had mentioned that. And next week, make sure you have your pre-orders. Power Rangers Edge of Darkness. That's the Phantom Ranger one, and if you're a fan of the Phantom Ranger, stay tuned uh, until the end. We're talking about Lightning Collection because some brand new news, new news, broke uh, Thursday night that you're going to be very excited about. So we found some merchandise news, though. Stuff we learned about last, I guess it was Friday or Saturday, I mean, no, at this point, uh, it was from Power Morphcom. They got to announce it. It is the COGS Lightning Collection 2-pack of COGS. They're going to be available on October 1st, $41.99. Comes with both of them. 20 points of articulation, COGS Spear like the spear weapon accessories, extra heads because they have the open faces, like if they're going to do the blasty thing on them, blast effect pieces, and extra pair of hands. They're available right now on Hasbro Pulse. I'm pretty sure these are Pulse exclusives. Not sure where you're going to be able to get them outside of uh, the U.S., but if you leave a comment, uh, maybe someone else can give you a hand with it. We found out about that a while ago, though. It's almost been a week, so everybody's kind of seen those already. How about some images we also got this week of the Chroma Fury Saber? I feel like we've gotten a brief look before this thing. Um, am I going to get it? Maybe. If my daughter wants to get it, yeah, we'll probably end up getting it. It's a little bit bigger than the uh, like original uh, Japanese sword that came out, but it's obviously a lot smaller than the $300 Memorial one. It, has, uh, it doesn't use the keys, though. Chomp, chomp, put the ch- no? Thanks. So, guess those are good for the Morpher, uh, is all. But if you, apparently, you can take it and you can just scan, like, a color and it'll turn. Although, I've got to tell you this one. I read it and I was like, I am so sorry, Sean. Orange Ranger. It says, uh, scan pink for a pink blade, blue for blue. Scans aren't limited to ranger colors. Scan orange for an orange blade. I know they did not mean it like that, but I was just like, oh, orange can be a ranger color too. It's harsh. Harsh. You want to see a bunch more pictures? Go check out Ranger Command Power Hour. Uh, of course, they have all the news posted on there. And here's this other one. Reebok is, <laughs> we got some 90s inspired Power Ranger shoes. Yeah, when I said shoes, I wasn't kidding you. It's shoes. These babies are expensive. You want to go ahead and take a look. Uh, the pre-orders, they're not out yet. But oh my gosh, so there's one for all the different colors, and then there's going to be a Megazord one. 
each of the footwear models represent uh, their Power Rangers incorporate their elements connecting the shoe to its corresponding Zord. And it comes in boxes that you can put the boxes together and make a freaking Megazord. Right? I... That's insane, y'all. So some of them are available in kids' sizes. I think they're all available in adult sizes. Uh, but some are also available in kids. So if you want to take a look, I got links. Uh, it's like Reebok.com slash US slash Power Rangers or Ranger Command. Uh, and I get you all hooked up so you can see a lot more images and stuff of these shoes. I am not going to get them. I'm, I, if I pay more than like $80 for a pair of shoes, I would be like, whoa. And they better be like my normal, like active going on walk shoes. Because way too cheap for that. Anywho, Lightning Collection. Let's talk about that. We have, yes, Thursday night breaking news. It has been found, what in the world? Remember that last, that Wave 10 about Lightning Collection? We said that we knew, we knew In Space Pink Ranger was going to be part of it. We knew Zeo Yellow was going to be part of it. But there was a green that we didn't know the color of yet, and it is Dino Charge. And not just Dino Charge. Dino Charge Green, you're getting your boyfriend. Yay, happy Pride Month, everyone. Charlie forever. <laughs> um, I I actually have some of the Dino Fury figures, the Dino Charge figures. I don't know, there's too many Dino Seasons. Anyway, so it's going to be Riley, Dino Charge Green, and then the last one, In Space, Phantom Ranger. There you go. So you're going to be getting the Phantom Ranger uh, graphic novel. Y'all going to be able to get your Phantom Ranger figure. And hey, shout out to this. One, no Mighty Morphin in the entire pack. Two, no Red Rangers in the entire pack, too. I'll take that. I'll take that. We got two girls. We got Riley. We got Phantom Ranger. So is it probably going to be like a 2222 pack? Nothing, nothing a little crazy on um, that one. Uh, hopefully, you know, we can get some confirmation. We can get some images and stuff soon. But when they're found in the system like that, and we already knew, bam. I'm excited to see how they look uh, in person or at least in, in pictures. In convention news, PMC Online happened last weekend. Hope you enjoyed it. Found some panels. Uh, if you like, I managed. I got to do a panel, uh, Women of Power Rangers. Uh, it, it was it was an absolute blast. I got to talk to Melody Perkins, who plays Astronema, uh, and Corone, and all of them. And I got to talk to uh, Ali Purrett, who plays Sid and SPD, and they were both absolutely lovely. I want to thank Joe from the Illuminati. He reached out to me and said, "Hey, we have some panels uh, for PMC Online." One of them is Women of the Grid, and you are way more qualified for that than I am. Do you do you want to do it? And uh, yeah, absolutely. I love. I was so thankful for the opportunity. Unfortunately, I was sick, so my voice was all shot, and I was a little like, mm, but. I had a blast. I'll have a link to it below if you want to go ahead and watch it. It was a neat panel because I didn't really talk a lot about actual Power Rangers or episodes or anything and just wanted to get to know them. And, and I hope you appreciate that as well. Now, we have to talk about something else. I had to make a late breaking video for because we got some Kamen Rider Revice image. We didn't get we didn't get images. We got an image. So we got a upcoming poster for the new uh, Sabers and Kaiser Super Sentai Senki movie, which I will talk about uh, a little later because we got a preview and everything for it. But kabam, Kamen Rider Revice found it. It was just the screen, like they're like here's the poster and here's everything, and we're just not gonna tell you who that guy is. They just. They're cool with this, right? Okay. Here we go. Apparently, it's going to be a dinosaur theme. That's still a grain of salt, but it could be a dinosaur theme. Did <laughs> you say dinosaur theme Sentai? It just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Dinosaur themed Rangers rolls off the tongue. Dinosaur themed Rider. I am very excited. I am icky side, icky side, right? Uh, plus, in the post, I'll talk about the poster again later because it's just gonna be really cool. But main one, uh, people are saying like very venomy. The other guy's like goblin -y, looks kind of crazy. We don't really have any other information on him yet, but as soon as I find more, I will of course let you know. Something, something, subscribe, bell notification. From the future to the past, let's talk about zero one zero one zero one zero one. 01, 01, 01, 01. Vulcan and Valkyrie's film has a new poster and the official trailer has been revealed. If you want to go ahead and check it out, it's going to be out on August 27th and uh, it looks like November 10th. If you want to get the Blu-ray and stuff for it, they're going to be getting new films or films or forms even. They're going to get new forms for the film. That's that's fine. But like all the characters are coming back to reprise their role. So it's going to be a whole bunch of fun. Go ahead and look at for it or just take a look if you want to check out the trailer. 
And more money down the drain. How about CSM Deno Belt Movie Edition? That pre-order stuff uh, is kind of out. It's going to be a premium Bandai Web exclusive. Uh, pre-orders are going to be up on June 28th. So yeah, you still have a few uh, days. Go ahead and it's going to... Um, the contents, Kamen Rider Deno Wing Form, Gaio, and Yuki. Check out a whole bunch more and yada yada. But uh, we'll be finding out uh, more like price and everything. Probably the day it posts. This isn't the Senki stuff, this is different. Super Sentai Movie Ranger 2021 Blu-ray DVD has an ad out for it. It's like the three most recent kind of movie things all together, but if you're looking to get those picked up, go ahead and take a look uh, at the link below and that'll get you hooked up. Blu-ray and uh, DVD are both being released for it. So now let's talk about the superhero Senki one. Saber and Zenkaiser showed us all of this crazy stuff. It showed us Revice and the second gobliny looking one, but it also showed us a crap ton of other stuff like the the the, the Deno. Why is the Dreamliner there, huh? A uh, Deno liner, whatever. I've forgotten at this point what it's called. They're all there. Plus, Q Pink is gonna be there. Uh, Deca Master, you can see in the poster. Common Rider Double, Kirby Blue, Kuga, Common Rider One. There's a whole bunch in this poster and. The teaser, or the trailer, I guess, it's a full, like, minute 15 trailer for it, just came out. So if you want to go check it out, uh, go watch it. I am really, really hyped for it. They didn't spoil Revice in it. Don't worry. I'm just going to let you know right now they didn't show you Revice at all. I was hoping they did because then it would give me something else to talk about. But they did not. But go give it a check out. I'm, it, it's it's going to have 37 Kamen Rider characters, 46 Super Sentai characters. total of 83 characters are going to be in this film. Yes! Set to premiere on July 22nd. That's when we're going to be finding out a whole bunch more. Be on the lookout. And now it's time for the Gokaiser section of the show. Wow, doesn't that? I love it. I love it. Anywho, they're going to have like re release a whole bunch of stuff. Remember last week when I was like, what? They're going to have a road show. This is pretty cool. How about they're also having a film project called 10 Gokaiser. New project sees the return. All six of them are coming back. Brand new adventure written by the head writer of Gokaiser, directed by the guy who did Gokaiser versus Space Sheriff Gavin, so knows everything, is currently scheduled for release on March 9th. It's a long way away. It's a long way away. They gave us a little bitty, bitty, bitty teaser. Doc looks a little beat up. Marvelous is wearing an eye patch. Everyone else kind of looks fine, but I'm just... <laughs> I love, I love Gokaiser, and I feel like at, over the years, that's probably slipped, and, and maybe that isn't a huge even part of me anymore, but oh my gosh, I love Gokaiser, and getting all this back is so exciting for me. Plus, how about this Mobirates Memorial Edition? It's also up for pre-order right now. Check out Toe Collectibles. Check out some friends of the channel if you want to go get your pre-order in. Uh, it's going to retail for 11 thousand yen okay so you're looking at like 110 dollars or whatever but it has a crap ton of stuff um it's gonna have all five core go kaiser keys doesn't include guys it's six ranger key because you know they've gotta make they're gonna make more they're gonna make all of them the ranger keys are back we are so doomed while you're looking at the pictures i'll go ahead and show you the the ranger key because this is a set not included this is separate from the mobile rights mobile rights is 11,000 yen this Ranger Key set is 15,400 yen. It's a 35 red. So it includes all 34 reds up to Captain Marvelous, and then it includes Aka red. So it includes all uh, 35 of them. But I gotta tell you, as far as the Mobirates, it has new, like, pre recorded lines from the Gokaisers, Navi. I need a new Navi toy. I never got one of those plushies, you know, 10 freaking years ago, and now I'm never gonna get one. But she's the bird who stole my heart. It made me realize that maybe mechanical flappy sidekicks aren't so bad. Because I, I liked her. But yeah, while you're looking, the streets. Josh Perry, Living Ranger, he freaking out. He was in the middle of doing the streets pod. The thing, it's, on, it's live on, on YouTube. It's on Friday night. He probably shot you the link there before. Live saw they were doing more Ranger keys, and he literally broke. He 404. It was horrible. It was amazing, actually, and he posted, I'll probably even put a link to it below, but it was absolutely hilarious. He just, like, snapped. And by that, I mean he had no emotion until he just went, Yee! It's amazing. He, uh, he, he's really happy about Ranger Keys. But if you're less fan of plastic and more fan of fabric, how about 
some of their cosplay outfits. That's right, that's right. Premium Bandai is re-releasing some of them. Now, what they have up right now, they have uh, Marvelous and Joe's jackets, right? And shirts and stuff, or maybe it's even just Joe's shirts. But they have um, like some rings, necklaces, mostly uh, necklaces and stuff of all the rest of the cast because you know if they're, they're going to end up re-releasing all of them they have a whole year you know to get them all out so they're starting with red and blue i really want luca's necklace it's i mean it on one hand it's only like a 65 dollar necklace but i'm i don't know man after what i heard is premium band i i'm not gonna pay a hundred and some dollars for a luca necklace as much as i want to but please, please let me know in the comments, are you excited about Gokaiser coming back? Have you never seen Gokaiser? That's fine. Some people say start with it. It gives you a little taste of all these other seasons. Some people say don't watch it until you've seen some of the previous seasons or you won't get the references. And there's there's just two ways to look at it. Me, it was the first uh, Sentai I watched other than uh, Zhu Ranger, the one that Mighty Morphin was based off of. And I... I loved every second of it. I fell in love with it. I freaking have a Luca cosplay. My husband has Captain Marvelous cosplay. We're big fans. We're big fans. And uh, I hope you are too. But uh, if you're not, maybe you're an Ultraman fan and you're really going to like this. Because how about Ultraman Trigger? Trigger is coming to America. I am messing my hat there. That's fine. Trigger is coming to YouTube just like Ultraman Z did with English uh, subtitles. And I think, I feel like some of them even had dubs. I'm not sure. But it's coming back to America just like Z with a slight delay, is it like same day, next day or something? It's really soon. So it's gonna be premiering in Japan over on July 10th, which is Ultraman Day. And then it'll be over in America not too long afterwards. There is a long trailer that's been announced, uh, put up for it, but I it wasn't subbed, so I, I don't really know what they were talking about. So I looked at it for a little bit, but maybe I'll go into it a little bit more blind. I'm not sure, but I really loved Zed and the fact that I get to watch this again like this makes me very happy. But Trigger, you know, not just the show, they're like, hey, why don't we do some more? How about we have some spinoffs? One of them, Marlou Dex, uh, is gonna, already has a teaser trailer out for it. That's going to be coming out, like, immediately with it. If you have a Subiara Imagination account, uh, it's going to be free. It's only available in Japan, though. Uh, new episodes are coming out every Saturday. These, they just hosted by <laughs> Metron Alien Marlou, which is Mao like from Gokai Yellow, yeah, her. Uh, she's <laughs> in which fans will get more detailed information, background, or mythology on the ultra heroes, monsters, and mysterious celestial items appearing in Ultraman Trigger, because Trigger is going to be like the spiritual successor to Tiga. I've never seen Tiga, but more spinoffs already. And then the next spinoff, no information on this one or, or no like preview or anything. Secret Origins of the Nurse Desi. And then we have one that's original voice drama, Galaxy Rescue Force voice drama. Lots of stuff is coming out for Trigger uh, very soon. Now that you know, it is going to be on YouTube. It's going to be free. Every episode is only going to be up for two weeks, though. So you watch it, and after two weeks, it gets taken down. Try to keep you to stay current with the show. You're going to be watching it. I certainly, certainly am. But if you're a fan of Zet, like I said, the Subiara YouTube channel posted the special digest video of the Ultra Heroes Expo The Live Ultraman Zet. It was a stage event with Ultraman subs. So I hope I, I get a chance to, to actually watch it and everything with it. It happened on May 4th. This just, I, I love that Ultraman's like, hey, you guys are fans? Here you go. Thank you. This is legal, right? Thank, th thank you. We'll take it, Saviara. We'll take it. Thank you. Thank you so much. But if you want to hear me talk more about Ultraman and Ultraman Z, check me out this Tuesday, the 29th, Pronghorn Heroes. I'll have a link to it and everything below. We're talking Ultraman Z episode one with them, and I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. It's not often I get to talk about something I am less familiar with, like Ultraman, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan and we're gonna get this doing, and, uh, and I don't think they've watched that either. So we gotta have some real good fun time, talking about some Ultraman and get a little ultra hyped for Trigger. Last little bit of Ultraman news is that we have some SHV Arts Ultraman 55th, I'm gonna say 25th, oh, full credit, 55th anniversary, official images have been revealed, this beauty, it's a beautiful, beautiful figure, Six. 
1,600 yen set for a November release. This is kind of the later version of Ultraman, like whenever you see he makes his later appearances, but the difference for this one is that the body has a metallic red and silver paint finish, and it comes with its own brother's mantle, which is a really good deal because, you know, if you really want to get, like, those brother's mantle, that's the, the cape thing they're calling it. Um, those things can be expensive on their own, and you gotta order them separately, so I think it's a pretty good deal. Pre-orders are open already right now if you want to get in on them. Again, 6,600 yen. Let's move on to some other Tokusatsu. Gridman Universe is kind of expanding. Uh, during the last episode of SSSS Dynanzeon, a quick teaser image was released. There's gonna be an upcoming project with Dynanzeon and Gridman. Yeah, no other information as of yet, but be on the lookout if you're a fan of both of those uh, titles. I guess it looks like the Gridman universe is expanding. Let's move to our reptilian overlord with Godzilla. How about Godzilla Singular Point? Yeah, the new anime that is now available globally on Netflix. Have you seen it? So it's going to be a 13 episode show. It features a grad student and an engineer lead a fight against forces that will bring doom to the world. Sounds amazing. 13 episodes. Go ahead and check it out. I'll put it in your queue in uh, in Netflix. Well, they're called lists now. Remember when Netflix had a queue? I am so old. <sighs> but you know what doesn't get old? Thank you, my Patreons, for helping make this in all videos possible. If you want to learn more uh, how to get your name on here, check out my Patreon or uh, just support me by leaving a like, leave a comment about what your favorite piece of news was for the week. I gotta say, it feels great to feel better. I did a lot of work on my lawn and stuff, and I was feeling better, and now I gotta back to work on stuff for the channel. So I'll see you again for all of that. Check out, I uh, put some, some videos this week. I had a panel with PMC Online. Catch me next week, Pronghorn Heroes. We're gonna be talking about Ultraman Z. My name is Ranger Liz. I almost told you today. You're awesome. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.